It must be Thursday at 6.30 because here I am in this Ancuda Soul space. Thank you all for joining me. And tonight I have my very first guest ever, not just the first guest of 2020. And everybody welcome Michael Zinn. Howdy. Yay. From Photosynthesis. That's very such a catchy exciting. name, isn't it? So I met Michael a while ago. Um, he actually found me online doing a reading one night and we started a friendship. And he's a really cool dude and very, very talented. I'm going to have him tell you all about what he does tonight. But welcome, Michael. I'm so glad Thank to have you. you here. Thank you for having me. I'm super psyched to be your first guest. Yes. I think <laughs> it's uh, kind of appropriate, and I love it. I'm, I'm super psyched about your show. Um, I've been watching it from before you got here. Oh, great. And, and it's great. Yep. I um, For those of you who only watch me on Gov's Comedy, I also do a live every Tuesday at uh, 7 o'clock on Zencuda on Facebook. And so I want to have Michael on because one of the things I found as in my spiritual journey is – the beauty of creativity and creation and being in that space, whether you do music or draw or do, you know, some kind of a modality where you're creating from this beautiful, authentic space that we all have inside of us, our light. And so I met Michael and I looked at his work. He does photography and he also came up with a few things. I'm going to let him tell us a little bit about the very unique stuff he does. But if you're looking to call in tonight, phones are down. Don't know why, but we have heat tonight, so we're doing good, one or the other. <laughs> um, so if you want to comment live on Facebook on Gov's Comedy Club Radio or on Zencuda, or you can also go on Michael's uh, Facebook page, Michael Zinn. Like him if you haven't already. You're going to see some beautiful things. And uh, you can comment and ask us questions that way. So, Michael, tell me how you got started, first of all, in photography. Oh, gosh. Uh. I didn't know you were going to go that far back. Um, <laughs> like were you I, with a kid with like a yeah, Polaroid? Yeah, I was. I think I was always inter interested in photography and in video. I was telling my friend the other day, I actually remember playing with my mom's Super 8 film camera. Wow. Making stop action movies with my Smurfs. Wow. So You were like doing claymation before yeah, it was even a thing. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, it was a thing because it inspired me to do it, but right. I was doing it with what I had at hand. That's which very I interesting. Think is, yeah, which is kind of, now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, yeah, I always kind of work with what yeah. I have at hand. You make know? use of everything. That's yeah. very cool. Yeah. So now, did you go to school for photography? Uh, I actually did. I went to a Harper Art School. Oh. Um, I just kind of went because I was interested in art. I used to doodle, and I was always into the visual medium. Right. Like I said, I was playing with cameras and stuff. And when I got to art school, it was like a whole world opened up to me. It was like... You know, they said, well, everything is art. You know, everything starts with a drawing and an idea. And yeah. and I was like, wow, it made a lot of sense. And you were finally allowed to just be free. Yeah, yeah. It really kind of broke everything open for me. And um, I thought I might go into drawing and that kind of stuff. But photography was just the medium that kind of resonated the most with me. Um, it was kind of quick and easy to, not at the time because it was film, but it was it was an easy way for me to articulate my vision and my idea, and I was always super psyched, you know, cool. with photography. So. so now, when you first started to get into the creativity of photography, did you feel it, like, in your body? Did it have a resonance? Did you feel, like, a, a joy? Like, what was the feeling you got that kept you coming back? Uh, that's another great question. <laughs> um, yeah, I think, I, I, I didn't even think about it until now, but There yes, was a connection. Yes, there was always a connection. Um I can remember I, I took photography in college for the first time. I never took it as like a, an elective in high school. Oh, okay. But when I was in the dark room for the first time, um, and I put the paper in the tray and developed and watched that image come, there it's was like magic. yeah, there was definitely a feeling there. Magic and it definitely kind of <laughs> had me. Uh, the process was different. Um, all the time. Just open the phone. Oh, I need to open Sally's going to share the show on Michael Zinn's page yeah, for those so, of you yeah. who are Michael's friends. Perfect. Um, so, yeah, the, you know, j exactly what you said. There was always a resonation. Uh, there's always a resonance Residence. with with creation, right. uh, creating, um, you know. Now, when I go on your website, his website is Photosynthesis. For all you who want to see his work, you're going to see a really different um, type of angle on most of the things that Michael does. He's very, very gifted. When you look through a camera lens, I feel like when I look at your work, you see things differently than we see things. Hmm. 
So, you know, it, how do you see things? Like when you look through your camera lens and you, want to, you know the shot you want to get, mm -hmm. are you looking for color, light? Like what sets you off to know mm -hmm. that you've got it? That's the shot. Well, uh, if you go on my site, you'll see there's a lot of different kind of work. Very different. So I used to do, and I still do occasionally, some more illustrative conceptual work. Yeah. So there was an idea in my head of an image or a story that I wanted to tell. Um, so that was a little bit more involved with like styling of clothes. Right. And, and You're seeking the image and you, you create know, it. Yeah. So yeah. I kind of create the image, you know, um, which again, what, what's cool about photography is that there are so many different approaches to it. Uh -huh. So, I, you know, I don't find myself competing with other photographers because other photographers do what they do and I do what I do. You know, it's, you know, no one can be me and I can't be anyone else. So, right. You know, we talked I mean, about that. Yeah, you and I. Yeah, yeah. We'll talk about that in a little yeah. while. Um, Sally, I have somebody who's commenting there's no sound, so you might want to just check that. Sally is the best tech person you could ever have for a podcast. And no, you can't steal her. She's mine. Hey, Sally. <laughs> you there is it was Dennis, so you never know with Dennis. <laughs> Dennis, Dennis Murphy is a top volume, fan. Dennis. Yeah, Den Dennis is a top fan at Govs. He calls into every show, and I think he was on Felix's show last week eating. So, um, so that's really interesting. What you say about the way that you create It's almost as though you see an image first, mm -hmm. and then you create it sometimes in your lens if you're doing, you know, it's like you say, story work. I, if that if that was the approach, yes, it's yeah. kind of pre-visualized. Some of the stuff that I've been doing recently, uh, it's interesting. I find it I find it really channeled you know what I mean it's like it's it's coming to me as I'm doing it right it's not necessarily yeah. pre-planned or a lot of times actually the human dollars that we're going to talk about tonight right is it's interesting because I tell people that my images speak to me so and that, that's why I asked that question yeah. because that's the feeling I get when I look at your work mm -hmm. and that's why I asked the question about when you, what drew, kept making you come back to the photography in the early part of it because mm -hmm. there's obviously a connection with some kind of a rush, you know, some kind mm -hmm. of an energy mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. really gives you that impact when we, on the outside looking at your work, see the work. The mm -hmm. energy comes through it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that, you know, the human dollars, if you want to talk about that, I think are the culmination of all of that energy mm -hmm. that you create when mm -hmm. you're actually mm -hmm. looking through the camera lens or working with your your media that, that changes the picture, say, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, the human dollars kind of evolved out of a project um, that I call the projector project. And again, the, exactly what you're saying, spot on. It's kind of came from a weird place and it's it, there's so many layers to it and I feel like it's so deep. Right. And it talks to me all the time and I see new things in it all the time. Yeah, isn't that great? Is, that happens to me with a lot of my writing. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. that's my medium is writing. And that's why I want to have a lot of guests on the show who do things that are that in that creative vibe. Right. Because it's almost as though they're, I said this to someone last night, I was in um, uh, something with my uh, cancer group that I work with, and we did a little creative writing, and I read what I wrote, and someone remarked on it, and I said, well, that's my medium, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. And what happens sometimes when I write is I almost feel like I'm seeing the words and the letters come out as sparkly light on the page, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, because mm -hmm. it's, it's a channel, yep, really. And yep. that's what I think, when I look at your work, I feel like is channeled somehow from divine right. energy. That's great. And, and that's that. the creativity, is that source, that zero source. Sure. So talk to us a little bit about the projector project. I think we have some pictures. Yeah. Um, so basically, uh, I was inspired by a photographer. His name is Danny, Olive Danny Olivier. He's from French. Olivier. France. <laughs> and uh, he was doing some work where he, uh, he was shooting um, models he was using a projector as his light source okay so he would take a projector like a regular projector like we'd like a regular projector showing. right okay. and he would put put some images into the the projector shine them on the model okay and he would uh then photograph it and it became you have some images yeah up. yeah See, she's working on getting them up yeah uh, beautiful. it became kind of uh, very abstract. Uh huh. Um, makes a pattern on it whatever makes a you're pattern, photographing. Right. So, so what I really liked about it was I could project just a grid, and and it would take the shape of the models That's that I was that I was shooting. Yeah. Um. And yeah, it was just really very different. Yeah, looking. really spoke to me. Um, and invokes an energy. Yeah. You know, each pattern exactly. is a different energy. We start to get into that ge sacred geometry kind of a feel. And and that's exactly what happened. It kind of evolved. So if you go to the next one. Um, this was the, a couple that I had worked with early on, um, you know, 
again, it's kind of the forms are just coming out of light. It's like yeah. And when uh, I look at this oh, type we're getting, of we're um, a better, uh, when I look at the there. photography in the projector uh, project, I almost feel like it's it's taking us out of the physical body, even though you see mm -hmm. the form. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. taking us into the energy of just a light being or mm -hmm. an energy or mm -hmm. a pattern instead so right of on. just You're being so right on the it. body. Yeah. Yeah. You're so right on. And and part of it uh, was to uh, one of the. Um, concepts that came to me as I was doing it was, <laughs> this is a little bit of a deeper conversation, we don't have to get into it. Michael but, and I have a tendency to get very deep, <laughs> folks. <so. laughs> um, was, was the evolution of, of humans uh, and AI, artificial intelligence. Right, and that's kind of what it looks uh, like. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so I kind of saw it as digital and human. Right. Uh, you know, there was just a lot of but it was I, just speaking to me, like as I was doing it. And I it, think it was, that's the energy that's in the universe a lot right now because I a lot of times in my meditations I'm getting to points where I'm not in, in the physical form, a human form at all anymore. Mm -hmm, I'm mm -hmm. just energy or a light being. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I, I feel like, especially with a lot of us who've done spiritual work for a long time, that seems to be where we're headed. Mm -hmm, and when you look mm -hmm. at the technology in the world, the texting, the, the, the mediums that we use, we don't even use voice as much mm -hmm, anymore. Mm -hmm. And so I think we're kind of headed to almost another evolution of our species. Mm -hmm. And this work really, oh, I think, speaks to that. I don't think you think that. You know that. <laughs> I think you know that. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Yeah. But this work really speaks to me about that. Cool. So, uh, so Sally, I don't know if we can just kind of go through. Sure. Uh, yeah, I'm happy to. I, just, I don't want to go forward without you saying something. So. Okay. No, that's fine. So, so the first few images are our projector. Mm -hmm. uh, just straightforward projector project. And we have to give this beautiful model a cred. Uh, this beautiful that's model. Stephanie. She is a beautiful, beautiful girl and very, very. I, I love the friends that I have who trust me, mm -hmm. uh, who who just trust my vision and and step in front of my camera. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very, very blessed in that way. So, here, very interestingly, I started just picking images to project. Yeah. And and subconsciously, I pick that one happens to be the flower of life. Yeah. So I started I was gonna say I started picking some images that had some sacred geometry to them, some spiritual meaning to them. Beautiful. Um, which again really kind of led this tangent of the human dollars, which mm -hmm. we're gonna talk about. Mm -hmm. Um so I don't know if we can go to the next image. Let's just go through them. We'll go through them. Sally will help us. <laughs> uh and this this girl is Nikki. Her name is Nikki Rowe. She is a uh Beautiful. A beautiful, beautiful young woman who. See, now this has so much light in it, but it almost speaks to me as like reptilian. It's very uh -huh, like, uh -huh. you know, very, um, <laughs> the energy. Sally is doing her best here to yeah. show us the whole image. Yeah. Well, some of them, it's funny because they pop up differently. Uh -huh. You mm -hmm. know, like I'll, I'll be ready to do a certain thing, then the, the next one will just be really large. <laughs> now, when you do this with the projector project, like you have to light it a certain way also because um, that's not naturally it's pure, lit. It's pure projector. Really? That's pure projector. Look at projector. the eyes, the way the eyes came yeah. out. Absolutely yeah. stunning. Yeah. Really beautiful. And Thank if somebody you. wants to order these prints, are they available on your website? Um, yes, they are. You can go to photosynthesis.com to, to order Just them. Just beautiful. So, so this is Francesca. Um, again, she was actually an intern when I had uh, my mm -hmm. photo studio mm -hmm. and just a beautiful girl and yeah. trusting in the work. Uh, Francesca and was the one, it was not this particular image, but I think it's probably the next one um, that comes up or one of the ones that's coming up soon. Oh, no, this is Julie. Um, How do you remember them all? <laughs> uh, they're all my friends, <laughs> uh, you know, and, and what, that's what's great. It's like, again, a lot of trust in that relationship. Yeah. Um, I guess there has to be between model and, and photographer. Yeah, yeah. So you can just feel free because would you find if someone's very tensed up or not in that, that place, it comes out in the photograph. Yeah, oh, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I would think the yeah, energy absolutely. would come out. Oh, this is another one of Stephanie. So here's where I kind of started to, I took, I was projecting that image that you see uh, on the background. Yeah. I was projecting that on her. Right. But it didn't come out in the photo like that, but I then took it into Photoshop and I put that image back in. Beautiful, um, though. To create it, and this yeah. is kind of also a little bit of a precursor mm -hmm. to the human dollars. I was gonna say, it definitely yeah. looks very similar to the human Starting dollar. Starting to get there. So uh, now you're doing the projector work, mm -hmm. and you are getting inspired. Uh, uh, absolutely. I, I mean, um, so some of the work, like this particular piece right here, uh, is almost a tribute to M.C. Escher. So M.C. Oh. Escher creates these geometries that are kind of impossible um, and yeah. has some images that yeah. are 
kind of made me feel this way. Uh, so that's a little bit of a, a tribute to Escher. Certainly get my inspirations out. So here we go. Here's where the projector, I mean, the uh, human dollars started. Started to originate for you? So yeah, th this image I, I love. Um, also, I have this as a 30 by 30, and it's just beautiful. What um, I love about this image, Michael, is mm -hmm. there's no sharp edges. Yeah. That's what I love about it. It's just it's so, it's soft. like you're in flow. It's yeah. just flowing. The energy is just flowing out of it. Yeah. So, so I was working on that image, and it spoke to me. And it said, hey, what, what, what do you think I would look like? <laughs> I guess that's what it said. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you mirrored me. Uh -huh. and, and swapped me around. And it really looks like a mandala. And that's what I got. And so not only did it kind of look like a mandala to me, but it actually had this three-dimensional mm -hmm. quality to yeah. it that I really loved. Yeah. Um, so that was kind of the start of the mandalas. Uh, the next image I did, uh, the eight iterations of it, because uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. So eight became kind of the number of iterations. Yeah. Um, this I was still kind of doing them manually, um, in Photoshop, mm -hmm. um, but they were really speaking to me. They were speaking to a bunch of my friends I was showing them to. I think we had some yeah. conversations yes, about them. Yes, we did. Um, this was a, a meditation pose with a, a tree. Beautiful. So this was kind of a tree of life. Now the number eight was speaking to you. You know eight's transformation in numerology. Oh, I didn't know <laughs> what it was. I, yeah. knew, I knew it was it something. It all fits. You know, it all, the synchronicity always fits in the end. So. Right. I knew it was something, but so, so if anybody has any comments on Michael's work, you can do that on our Facebook page. This is beautiful. See, now this is starting to look like the human mandalas that you did. Right, right. Yeah. So now there, I was actually projecting kind of these mandala images on the models. So uh -huh. that really lent itself to the more intricate patterns that you're starting to see right. happening there. Right. Um, that's all right. That's all right. These are just all examples of, of what's happening. But so, so what happened, uh, the next evolution... Uh -huh. that happened with the human dollars was um, I've been doing Photoshop for many, many years. I used yeah. to teach at Farmingdale. I know you're also an event photographer. I see you at Pink Tie and other oh, yeah, events yeah, around yeah. the <laughs> island. So <laughs> yep. you'll, you'll see Michael at the most swankiest yeah. events. <laughs> so, oh, this one, okay, so let me, let me follow with Sally. This one was, uh, I shot this image particularly with doing a, a human dollar in mind, and this was kind of obviously the chakras right, and the meditation of course, pose. Yeah. And I believe the next one is the resulting image uh, from that. I don't know if the camera is live on that right now or what, but uh, and there you go. There's the wow, the resulting image. That's a lot of energy from that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. So, yeah. So so again, what I was saying was the next step was. I said, you know, I can automate this process, uh -huh. just knowing Photoshop the way I did yeah. uh, and taking my, the images, sh shooting them the way I was shooting them. And here's an example of an image uh -huh. and then the resulting human dollar that came from that oh, image. Oh, that's beautiful. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. Um, so you just keep duplicating it. So it dupl it, I duplicate like it. I rotate it, it, it 45 degrees. Yeah, I don't want, <laughs> I'm not going to give you the exact recipe. But no, okay, <laughs> I don't want you to. But, but you know it's what? Your honestly, recipe. honestly, I would I would be happily give out the recipe to anybody because they're so, going to create something different. If someone of course, cooks, you know, it's going to taste a little different. It's your energy in there. Yeah. So now I know you took it a step further with the human dollars because you st one night we were talking, um, you know, through Messenger and. We started fooling around with some images and mm -hmm. angelic images and things like that. Mm -hmm. And I know um, over the holidays, you actually took this even a step further and you started to do some things that were very um, spiritual in nature on the image as far as like a Metatron. Um, yes. Ha ha yes. Human Dala and things like that for Archangel. And yes. So, so, um, so I'm going to hold one of these up yeah. on the camera. We have this camera, Sally, and the, the GoPro. Okay, hold on. Okay, go ahead. So this is, um, I don't know if we have this on camera. I can't see because I'm on delay. So this is the type of human dollar necklace that uh, Michael is taking the images that you're seeing on the screen and actually putting them into a piece of jewelry that you can wear. And you can get those on his site. And the significance of these is, um, well, you tell the story, Michael. I know you have one that's Metatron, uh, Archangel well, yeah, Metatron. When, when we spoke um, uh, and I was showing you some of the images, you were you were, yeah, you you were could feeling, do a close -up. yeah, you were feeling Thank some you. energy from the yeah, image. Yeah, we were talking about that. Um, and, and my feelings at that point were the images I was using were particular people. Uh -huh. um, and so I wanted to... I wanted to kind of go towards more of what you were feeling and make it a little more, a little less specific. Right. And so I did some poking around, and I found a beautiful image of some wings uh, that were the wings of Metatron. Yeah. And that's what 
resulted in that first amulet that, uh -huh. that you and see there. And that was there. this one or this one? Uh, it was this blue one. Yeah, the this is beautiful. One. Yeah. So um, this is just the wings of Metatron. Right. So when someone, to me, when someone wears this, that would be bringing in a very powerful energy. You know, the imagery and, and alone is powerful. Mm -hmm. But the other day, Michael and I were having a conversation about more power that would be in this imagery just from your, the essence of the creation. Right, absolutely. So talk a little bit about that to the, to the, to the fans at home. Um, so, yeah, I, I, this actually goes back to another conversation that we had okay. <laughs> where, you know, we were both talking about, okay, how do you, what do you do in this day and age when you feel like you're a healer right. or a light worker, right. you feel like you have something and you want to offer it, um, you, you know, you know that you have something because of the way people respond to you. Correct. Um, this is kind of how I grew up. I, people always responded to me. Yeah. So I knew that there was something. But and what Michael's referring to is sometimes what will happen, uh, and I know many of you experience this out there, once you really step into authenticity or you found your light, it's not uncommon for someone to walk into a room where you are or you're in a restaurant or somewhere and people are drawn to you for some reason and you know they're feeling your energy. And so when you get to that point in your spiritual devotion or your spiritual connection, you want to give that light to humanity. You want to do mm -hmm. something for the world. Right. Yeah. Right. So, you know, one of the things we spoke about was content creation. I'm, I'm involved in all of this stuff where you make these podcasts and yeah. do that. And we were talking about doing some work together. Yeah, which and I think I was, we still will someday. Absolutely. Yeah. We absolutely will. But I was feeling like I wanted to kind of get on camera and, and do a show. But then I was like, that's not me that's not the way that i'm supposed to give back so so back to you know people are always saying what do i do what do i do and then right. the answer is always well just be yourself be yourself yep um it's so true so i was going through a similar thing a couple of years ago and i remember one of my gurus from australia um said to me georgia just do what you love and you go. you're going to find that feeling and the purpose in what you love just right. keep doing what you love talk exactly. about what you love have friends that you love, do the activities that you love, and then right. it comes. Exactly. So looking at these images one day, and they're round, something hit me and said, oh, make these into these necklaces. And I started making these necklaces, and people really responded to the necklaces. Yeah. And I found that here was a way I could be me, yeah. <laughs> put my energy into this just by creating it, right? and give it to somebody. Yeah, um, I and, think they're beautiful. And as a matter of fact, as in honor of being your first guest, Thank you. <laughs> I would love to give one of these to you. Yes. And, and when I was on my way here, I was like, which one should I give her? I said, you know what? Being that it's all energy, you need to pick the one that speaks to you. This one speaks to me. There you go. <laughs> and you know what? I kind of. That was what you were going to give me anyway. I, I knew it. that that was. I knew <laughs> that that's that the way it works. So I would okay, love you to have this. Me, so. Okay. This is a really beautiful moment, Michael. <laughs> I <laughs> Commemorating um, the show. Yeah. So. Here you go. Oh, I got this so all of you, Michael Zinn, you can find him on Michael Zinn on Facebook, Z Photo Zynthesis yep, online. Photosynthesis. And do you have you a go. separate site for the Human Dells, or is it on? Um, it's on Photo Zynthesis. If you go to Photo okay. Zynthesis, there's a, a shop button, so that goes to my shop. Everyone should get one. These are beautiful. Um, so, so just as kind of the final latest development of yeah. the Human Dollars, I kind of want to offer the experience to people, and, and I, I had this couple who requested... A of couple a, version of the human dollar. So you can actually photograph someone through the projector yeah, system. Yeah, I don't create. know uh, if you keep going through those photos, uh, Sally. I think there may be. Nope, keep going. Uh, there may be one uh, I put together of this latest uh, human dollar session. Nope, next. Nope. Keep it's going. the last one. Yes, yeah, I think it's probably towards the end, or I may not even have got it in there. That's a really cool picture. Yeah. That's the last one for this, but let okay. me let me check other if emails. You find them. Oh, you have those. Okay. So uh, is this camera up right now? Yeah. This main this, camera? This is one. Yes. Okay. So I, I did this couple. Um, they're going to put a huge print in their living room, and then I was like, oh, I want to make them one of these necklaces. Cool. So here's the They the can necklace. both wear them. That's right. Yeah. Um, and that, was something, really else, cool that was something else that we talked about was yeah. not only am I connected to whoever's wearing one of these with right, energy, so your gonna but be you, can, you can Create connect us a, a you. couple, you know, I can connect yeah. a couple together and with the energy. And then it becomes a co-creation. Exactly. You so, can even do pets. I would want Sparky. Is this what you're talking about? 
<laughs> um, no, but that's a good. Whoop, that's a good. This is actually image. a very good friend of uh, Michael. This is Paul Mejos, right? Yep. And Paul is uh, a lot of you know him as a local musician, yep. and he's a big fan of Michael's work. That looks great on him. I yeah. hope he's wearing that when he's uh, performing. Yeah, he he loves it. He I think that's like loves the it. same one I have. No, no, nope, nope, no. Yours is different. Okay. And and I knew you were going to pick that one. I absolutely yeah, knew it's it. me. Totally. Oh, the, the violet, you know. Totally. You know me and my so violet yeah, play. so so basically, anyway, I um I'm just putting it together as a photographic experience right. and package for people uh, That's beautiful. you know to kind of take away with them I think that work is just so perfect for your energy and it it's amazing to me just in the last few weeks how many people I've come in contact with myself included that it's like magic is in the air mm -hmm. and it seems like we're all the, the culmination of years of work is coming together mm -hmm. in the perfect thing right um, I just am having things happen that are putting, you know, my spiritual career and my real estate career together in ways that I never thought before. I love that. And it seems like all of your creativity, the photography, the projector project, all of it mm -hmm. is coming together in the perfect yep. That's frame, it. frame, you know. That's it. I, I, and I certainly believe that and I see that. I keep saying believe when it's I know that. You know it. Um, yeah. But, yeah, everything that I've ever done my entire life is a part of this. It's like leading it's up to that It's part moment. of what I'm doing. Yeah. It's all skills that I've acquired, the, thoughts that I've had. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's uh, the synchronicity I think uh, we're really yeah. experiencing. Speaking of synchronicity, yeah. I was super psyched today. <laughs> I, I, I love life, how, how it works. Um, <laughs> I, my, my regular job is I'm a creative director for a company uh, right. called Brickett. And yeah. we, we got this machine that we've been using lately. It's called a CNC machine. It cuts, okay. cuts styrofoam into shapes. Oh, I don't need to get too much into it, but yeah. it's a cool machine. Um, we bought it from a company in Georgia. It just so happened that two of the guys that installed the machine were in town in New York at an install and wanted to come by today. Oh. So I was like, I'm going on Georgia's show tonight. <laughs> These guys from I Georgia Because I get coming. the phone call and it says Georgia. So I need one more Georgia. Yeah, I, I get <laughs> the phone great. call and it says Georgia. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Um <laughs> So, so, so I, I do believe there's a lot of happens. synchronicity. So we've got some people watching. We've got Gina, Monica, Julie. I've got Donna, John, Steve. What's up, guys? Uh, Michael Zinn is here. And we are talking about art and creativity. So as I listen to you talk, Michael, I think about, you know, advice for people out there who are, you know, working in creative mediums, even if it's drawing or painting or spiritual art of some kind. Mm -hmm. And what I'm hearing is, you know, follow the creativity, like connect the dots, just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Do you Absolutely. think sometimes artists and people try too hard? Absolutely. I think it's a, it's a, it's a human <laughs> uh, side effect, <laughs> yeah. side effect of yeah. being human. You know, yeah, we're kind of, our humanness. yeah, we're kind of we want raised now. with these certain ideals of how we should be, yeah. what we should be doing, what it should look like. You know, and, it's funny because you know, when, we I, don't follow that. when I started Zenkuda, I was in such a rush, you know, mm -hmm. and this is about a year and a half ago, and I was in such a rush, and I had people doing some media for me and other things, and I was like saying, no, we have to have it now, and I was just so, like, stressed. Mm -hmm. And then I realized, and I pulled back, and I, I, the lesson for me was, if you're feeling that intensity of time, and you're feeling that rush of you have to do it now, you mm -hmm. have to get it out now or something, it's probably not coming authentically mm -hmm. from your soul or your heart. Mm -hmm. It's coming from the ego. Mm -hmm. And so that was a really good lesson for me. And I realized that a lot of times our association with time is really our ego telling us that if we don't do it, it's insecure, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. we have to do it in a rush because of someone else will do it or someone will do it better or, or this is really what I was meant to do. And if you just drop that and just kind of relax mm -hmm. and let it flow and surrender to it, sure. it just comes out, the creativity, so much be more beautiful. Yeah, That's been my experience Agreed. anyway. Yeah, no, absolutely. So for Agreed. those of you out there struggling in the, uh, the what am I supposed to do, This, you know, I need to get this out today or whatever, um, let it flow. And the other thing I always do now when I'm in a creative process, whether you know I write so I have a couple of books in the works and things like that, Whenever I'm really in the throes of a project, I stay off social media except to maybe put a post and then get off. I don't go in any of the news feeds anywhere. Mm -hmm. Because I find when I'm really open creatively, I'm more sensitized to what else is out there and I start to get like a little freaky about it. Mm. You know? Okay. And that causes the rush. It's like, oh I have to get it out now or right, someone just right, put right, something right. out that looks similar right. or whatever. So I don't go into the news feed at all. When that's I'm, a good. You know, that's a good. Yeah. A good philosophy. Yeah, so yeah. I really try to one, stay out of that. One of the that made me think of one of the biggest 
breakthroughs for me was that comparison thing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like like you said, like looking or even you anything you. anything outside of yeah. myself. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like if I start to look at that and then say, oh, no, but about myself, yeah, you're getting to that's judgment. the wrong energy. Yeah. You know what, I mean? what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. you've just got to And when we look on all this social media, it's like so much bombardment. Right. It's like you start to judge yourself against others. Right. And you're just supposed to be in that space of creativity with yourself. Right. You know, yeah, so it's absolutely. pretty cool. So if anybody has any questions for Michael about his work or where you can find things, please chime in. I'm actually going to pick a card right now because I think that might um, give us a little bit of a theme that we're going to tonight. Um, the energy in the world is very intense right now. I don't know if you all find it. It's intense both for magic and creativity, and it's also intense for um, a lot of fear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel there's a lot of fear out there in the world right now, and I'm going to pick a card for us. almost manipulation. Yeah. You know, it's like it's fear, but it's like it's coming from outside. Yeah. You know? I have my own theory about it, and I, I listen to a lot of online gurus, and we all seem to be of the same... Um, mindset, the subscribing to the same thing. I think that what's happening is there's so many structures that we believe in that aren't good for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so as they mm -hmm. start to come down, there's mm -hmm. a certain element of those structures that are in fear and doing anything to hold the structure in. Right, right. And so that's there's the a comfort to it. Yeah, right, and that's right, where right. the manipulation comes. And I think right. especially on the world stage, yeah. it's going to be a really volatile year. Yeah. You know, because people don't want these structures to fall. Right. And they're falling. Right. So, in our I, own life, I feel yeah. lucky about that because... Oops, we just dropped like five <laughs> cards. Um. <laughs> yeah, I feel lucky about that because I feel like if you're on kind of one side of the scale, yeah. it's going to go heavy that way. And right. if you're on the other side, it's going to go heavy that way. And I know you're so about the so, love. Yeah. You know, oh, I, I watch your posts and I watch your what you put out there. And you're so about the love that sometimes I know you put something up and it's taken completely the wrong way and they'll start this whole like uh, controversy on your page. <laughs> and you're like, That's yeah, true. you guys are really, uh, you know, active yeah. today. <laughs> you know what? I, I was actually, it's interesting you're saying that because on my way in, I was thinking about the idea of intent. Uh huh. And really that's what it's all about. And you want to know something? It's funny you say that synchronicity. Yeah. On the box of my Circle of Life and Kuda cards, it says energy is intention. That's right. So that's what it's all about. That's right. And, and so I also came up with a definition that I really liked for oh, intent. Oh, let's, let's hear. Intent is execution without expectation. Very true. I like that. So, like, yeah. so if I'm all about the love, which I am, and yeah, I put absolutely. out love, I put out love in the world because I feel like... What else are you going to do? <laughs> I, if I'm responsible for putting something out in the world... It better be love. It should be love. But if, let's say I encounter someone who yells at me and curses at me when I'm driving or the something like that. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> I'm okay, I'm but. not going to – my response to that is is still going to be love. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's so – I always think of it – and the reason why I call them cave girls is kind of funny, but is because I always think they haven't seen the light I've seen yet. Mm -hmm. So they're still in the cave a little bit. Right. So I always think, well, they, have just, they haven't seen the light I've seen yet. Right. They're going to see it. Right. Everyone's going to be enlightened one day. That's how right. I feel. So I'm like, I'll just give them a little, little loving. For, yeah. yeah. So again, th so that execution without expectation is I'm going to give love. But if you don't give me love back We're and cool. you shake your fist at me, that's, cool. that's your problem. <laughs> and you know, the way I always think is when you do that, you send someone love or a great vibe and, you know, whether they have a reaction or not, that energy is still out in the world. Mm hmm so mm -hmm. they don't have to pick it up right now. Somebody else might pick it up. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's circulating out there in the, in the vibe. I don't have to explain it to you. So <laughs> You get it. <laughs> <laughs> so I just picked a card. And the card, believe it or not, says karma. Mm. And it's the number 13 in my deck. And it says actions are ripples of light spread across the world. And that's just what you were talking about. Mm -hmm. Is mm -hmm. just send the love because you're going to get it back. And look at this exactly. beautiful card. It's the, uh, Those I, look great, by the way. Oh, thank you. I really you. like them. I, this particular photograph I chose because it just really looks at the um, energy of karma. So do you believe in karma? I do believe in karma. I, I feel like um, the definition is, I think people are too specific with the definition. Yeah, I agree with I don't that. Think it's, I don't think it's as, I don't think karma is as one for one. Like you tit know what for I mean? tat. Yeah, right. I, I was going right. to say that, but I was like trying. Yeah, uh, yeah it's not tit for tat. It's, it's you put love out there and you're going to get love you may get one day where you don't get love like i said i i right i drive past plenty of people who are like yeah they're shaking their fists yeah, at me there's a lot of anger maybe because i cut them off maybe because i didn't but yeah whatever but uh you know yeah um it's not tit for tat and it's also you know the biggest thing with 
spirituality in general is it's kind of not so straightforward it's like you gotta you gotta read between the lines and you gotta oh, yeah. see what things mean yeah you know yeah i use that so, expression all the time read yeah. between the lines yeah and i think also um when people start defining karma, a lot of times, that, like Sally said, they get into the tit for tat and the minutia mm -hmm. of things. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, she's going to get hers. And right. it's really not what it's about. It's not right. about judgment at all. It's just about right. creating your own level of energy that comes back to you. Mm -hmm. So, But mm -hmm. I do believe some blue meanies out there are going to get this. Sure, <laughs> sure. Well, I mean, the good thing about, <laughs> the good thing about the that is, meanies. and this is probably true for you too, when you start to curate your own life, the people that you hang around with, the energy that you choose to be around, Yeah. You know, it it's it's much better because Absolutely. you're choosing to be around that energy. Yeah, and that's a good a point because we've been know? talking about that on the show the last couple of weeks where I said to everybody, think about what you give shelter to in your life. Mm -hmm. Because when, and when I say that, I thought the word shelter was such a good word because it's like what do you feed and nurture and, and give a nice warm blankie to and all those things in our lives that we do it, whether it's an addiction, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, or mm -hmm. it's a person that we just keep allowing, you know, mm -hmm. we're gonna make them feel better, it's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, we go to the crummy job we don't wanna go to anymore and we're, right. we're giving it shelter by just being there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all those things. And I said, this is the year that all those shelters that aren't good for us are caving in, guys. Mm -hmm. Because the universe yeah. is going to automatically correct everything. Mm -hmm. So John says, karma comes when it's time to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spoken like the true big John you are, because, uh, I, but it's true. Um, I've seen it happen. Sometimes you're just in the right place at the right time to see karma actually come around. Sure. Yeah. And, um, and it has nothing to do with anything anyone's done to me or another person. It's what they've brought on to themselves. Mm -hmm. So very interesting stuff. So now, um, what's your, you're doing the human dollars. You have some other projects coming up, or what are you doing? Are you focusing on that? Um, the human dollars is kind of, no. <laughs> I think that's kind of one of, my, one of my things is I don't focus on one thing at a time. It is a big project. Um, I think the human dollars are going to be around for a really long time. Thank Michael. you. I, I, Especially I if, love that. if someone can do a, a photograph you know, of their choosing and mm -hmm. put that in there. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely. absolutely stunning. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I would gift someone with that because I'm really big on... Uh, birthdays, holidays. I sure. don't like to give gifts. I like to give experiences. Right. And so Absolutely. something like that would be an experience forever. Sure. Well, speaking of uh, the energy that's connected to these, yeah. uh, that was another evolution. And I think we hit on that the other night when we were talking is, um, and, I'm, and I'm trying to put some of these together. I have some, some friends of mine. Um, so oh, uh, a, pa a loved one who's passed on. Oh, that's a beautiful um, taking idea. Taking an yeah. image of a loved one who's passed on, yeah. and creating this so that again, that energy you're, you've you've embodied that energy, yeah. and you could always hold it close to you, yeah, you know, and keep and, the spirit alive. Yeah, keep the spirit alive. And I often, when I do readings, I tell people. Um, oftentimes, what'll come through when I do readings from the other side is, the loved one will ask to have a picture of them placed in the house, mm. and I'll say, "Do you have a picture of your loved one somewhere?" And people say, "No." Because you know they're in that grief and they don't mm -hmm, want it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I'll say they want to be they want to be recognized. They want you know a place in the house where wow. that's their place. That's so this is really a huge way to do that. Yeah, and yeah. really you know honor that soul very beautifully. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's beautiful work. I'm excited about this. Thank you. Um, so what else is going on, Sally? We're bringing you in now. We're <laughs> bringing me in. Yeah. <laughs> How do you find the energy out there? I think it's kind of been a rough first year. <laughs> like yeah, the it's first only two month. Weeks. It's only January yeah. 15th. You know. <laughs> I, I kind of, I don't know, Couple like of weeks. around around Christmas time, I was thinking, you know, next year is going to be really light. You know, and <laughs> it, I don't really think there's a lot of optimism. Came in with a boom, yeah. Yeah. yeah, there was a lot of optimism around the holidays. Like when January first came, the planets just completely oh, changed. Oh gosh, yeah. 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 So that's yeah. So that's we've got a lot of energy next I week am. on the show. We'll talk about. We have a lot of energy coming in with this uh, new moon on the twenty fourth. That uh, mm -hmm. is whatever started in the beginning of the year and the eclipses is all coming to head. So sure, sure. really watch what's going on in your life right now. Right. But like I said before, there's a lot of magic in the air, a lot of synchronicity. Yeah. I'm feeling like like this is the culmination of years of work all coming together. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing that in my own thing with this podcast mm -hmm. and other mm -hmm. things. I see a lot of healers coming through with very clear projects that I say, wow, that, that's a project that they probably should have been doing all along, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and it's really what we're being spoken to now. Yeah. So you work hard. You have all these balls in the air. What do you do to maintain your spiritual connection? Hmm. Um, well, I, I would say probably this, some standard practices of meditation. Uh-huh. Um, 
you know, I don't, I think I've always kind of just innately been connected to my own spirituality. Yeah. And um, <laughs> interestingly enough, I know you're having Lisa Fazio on Yeah, Lisa, next the week. spiritual artist, yeah. Um, she does spiritual so she soul does portraits. soul portraits. Yeah, she's I coming had, on in a few weeks. Um, I know Lisa, I haven't had Lisa do one, but I did have another artist uh, do a soul portrait. Yeah. And I get the soul portrait back, and there's some dragonflies on there. It's like a nice Whoa. scene. Okay. But in the middle is a big picture of me. Uh-huh. And she said, you're your own spirit guide. There you go. So, yeah, and I, I had never even heard of that. Assist. Yeah, I never even heard of that. So, <laughs> See, I would be like, what? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> um, I'd be like, everyone yeah, has a spirit guide, sense. and again, it's all up to me. Right. Yeah, right. 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 No, it just, you know what? You it just made sense. Here. It felt good. It felt good, and it made sense to me yeah. what was going on. Well, and I think that also shows that you know what you know. Right. You know, I exactly. said this to someone the other night um, in a social gathering. They were asking me for help with something, and I said to them, you know what you know. Mm -hmm. And it was like a light bulb went off mm -hmm. because I just mm -hmm. felt that energy. Mm -hmm. And I think there are some people who are incarnated with that sense of, of self-actuation. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's why you probably have that. I had a... Uh, actually, I'm going to go back to you. Ask me kind of some what other things were going on. Yeah. So I have this friend. I'm working with Jesse Snyder. Uh, and we're working on putting a podcast together for him. Yeah. Um, and a magazine and a bunch of cool content. Right. So I won't... You know, we'll talk about that another time. Yeah, we'll have, have you on the have show again. Back. Yeah, um, Maybe we'll have him with you. But we were having a meeting late night at my house. It was like one in the morning. He's he's walking out the door. You're a night owl. He sees <laughs> I have this abilene shell, uh -huh. uh, and I have my sage in there. Yeah. And he sees it, and he's walking out, and he's like, oh, and he picks it up, and I see him starting to light it, and he was he's like, I'm going to sage myself, and he looks up, and he looks at me, and he goes, no. And he hands me the sage. Right. And he's like, I want you to sage me. Yeah. He's yeah. like, you you were a shaman. I'm sure you were. In your past life. And, you know and, I pick up your you energy know, all I've the had, time. I've had that said to me. You know, yeah. I think maybe you said it to me or Yeah, and you have a very calming energy about you, mm -hmm. even though I know you're not always calm, like with all the projects you have. But, you know, time-wise. Right. But you have this innate, very uh, grounded feeling about you. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. really cool. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I wish I had that because yeah. I'm like very more sparkly. You do. Uh, now I do. <laughs> but I'm really very sparkly most of the time. I'm like, That's all right. I'm like, wait, shiny object. But, uh, but I try. But I think the reason why I asked the question about keeping the spiritual connection is because I think, like Sally was saying, the energy is so intense now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we all feel it. Everybody feels it. I mean, really? Dog okay, that makes me feel it. better. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's when we're challenged to really keep our connection. Right. You know, and especially when yeah. you're creative like you sure. are, you've got to kind of tap in all the time. Right. But I, but that's what I was saying earlier. I feel like people who are kind of on that side, yeah, the energy is a good energy. Yeah, it's, it's I like, agree with it's, that. It's yeah. helping. You know, Sally said, I feel good. There are some people who are feeling the energy and, right. again, the fear, you said, and, yeah. and the things that are going on. Yeah, because they're holding on for dear life. You know, like I yeah. always say, you know, there's claw marks and everything right. that we let go of. Right. So now are you inspired by nature? I am. Uh, uh the winter kind of, you know, puts a little bit of yeah. a damper on that. I, I like yeah. to hibernate a little bit during the winter, but yeah, we when all it, do. yeah, during the warm months, I love to get outside. Because I'm wondering about even nature kind of photos, how they would mm -hmm. do with the the uh, projects and things. Very cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would definitely. I don't know work. why I always have these like psychic hits whenever I'm with Michael, and for some reason I just thought of um, at the Bay Yard cutting arboretum mm -hmm. over in Oakdale. There's this beautiful beech tree. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar with it. That would make an amazing human dala. Hmm. <laughs> The one, the one that you could walk in and yeah. underneath, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that's interesting. Yeah, I may do that for yeah. you. Yeah, I just think that was like yeah. really cool. I always get these cool. psychic hits around this guy. He's got a lot of sparkly energy, even mm. though it's sparkles nice. all mine. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, if anybody has any comments or anything they want to ask Michael, you can definitely chime in. I'm missing our phones tonight because I don't get to hear from John. Mm. I'm used to John calling in every week. He like talks on the show. We're gonna have you in here as a guest one day, John Manetta. I don't know if anybody is. Uh, commented on mine. Let me take a look. Yeah, look. So, um, what else can we talk about? I'm going to pick a card for Michael. Some friends watching. Hey, Steve. Hey, Janice. Cool. Sherry. So now, what, um, when you do, what, what would be the typical, you know, walk us through the process if someone has, uh, and someone and their partner want to come in and do a photo shoot with you, what exactly is the process? You just do the shoot and the projection gets done right there? Uh, yes, the projection is done at the time of shooting, but I, I'll usually have a conversation. I'll talk about, you know, 
what the people like, yeah. you know, what kind of just get a, you know, I want it to reflect the personalities. Right. Um, That's why I'm asking, because yeah. I think you sit with it for a little bit. Yeah, I Almost like do an intake. Out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I do a little bit of an intake. We figure it out. Um, I, I bring up a few different images. You know, when you're actually... Uh, getting it done and you're standing there and the projector shining on you you see a bright light suddenly. yeah that's why i'm asking and you're like, like oh my problem? god a bright light but then when you look down and you look at yourself and you see the projection on oh, yourself wow. people are just like whoa yeah. this is kind of cool yeah. and, and they, get right they, into the yeah, they, they feel it right that's away that's pretty cool yeah so i think we should do sally yeah and tony yeah so, okay yeah <laughs> cool <laughs> give it to him for an anniversary present yeah. <laughs> how long are you and tony together about Almost eight years. And when is your show on? You have a show in the morning with Every Day with Tony? Yeah, it's Monday through uh, Friday, 11 to 1. Very cool. And the name of the show mm -hmm. is? Knock 'em Dead Comedy. Knock 'em Dead Comedy. You have to tune in. They have great guests. Cool. Michael might be a guest on that show. Everyone's stealing my guests, uh. people. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we have, uh, this, uh, we have Jackie Martland get your coming own, in tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, do oh he's you? great. I get love your own Jackie. damn guest. No. Can he be on my show? <laughs> <laughs> get your own damn guest. Can I borrow yours? <laughs> Wow, George. <laughs> hey, it's Gov's Comedy Radio. It's I have to be funny. Good. I have to be funny. Or I get, I get like sometimes <laughs> it's so funny because on Thursday evenings, come on down because the club's open. Governor's Comedy Club is open on Thursday, and the the podcast booths in the back of clubs. So every once in a while, I'll be doing my broadcast, and a comedian will walk by. And a couple of wee weeks ago, we had uh, Joey Cola walk by. Oh, that's great. I and I was him. so distracted. I'm talking, I'm reading cards, and all of a sudden, I recognize this person I see on TV. And I'm like, wait a minute. And it was just kind of a, a surreal moment. Plus, so. his picture's right outside the door. Yeah, so you're probably picture, like, right. was like, it him, or did I just see his picture? It was a hologram. Right. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. So here's a card for uh, Michael tonight. I hope this oh. has some resonance with you. You know what? I'm going to have you pick a card. Oh. Pick a card. Pick a circle of lights card. <sighs> pick a card. Any card. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> it's speaking to you. Yes. Wow, that's number 15, and it's healing. Mm. Love is the light that heals all. And I'm going to read you what it says, because I actually, and it's so weird, because you talk about creativity, and I'm not saying this from any place of ego. Those that you know me will know I don't have any ego, but, well, maybe a healthy one. But <laughs> <laughs> It's not all bad ego. Not all bad. But I read, sometimes I'll, I've been using these in my private readings, and I'll read what I wrote, and I'm like, I wrote that? I don't remember writing any of like, this. Like, that's brilliant. I know. You're like, wow, this is damn cool. I'm the bomb. Yeah. No. It's so funny. So under healing, it says, love and light. When we take part in our energy healing, such, a, such as Reiki, IET, chakra balancing, sound healing, or other modalities, we are invoking the light of universal love to enter our energy field. Love has the power to heal all things and relieve our suffering. Taking part in energy healing raises our vibration, and transmutes dis-ease and emotional pain to a more positive vibration. This card suggests it is possible to transmute disease, dis-ease, by invoking the light of spirit to raise your vibration and heal that which distresses or pains you. <clears throat> Focus white light on the areas of your body which manifest any pain and allow spirit to heal you. Believe in the power of divine love and light to relieve your suffering. You have the energy of healing light surrounding you now. You may be a light worker who mm -hmm. practices healing on others. I think these human dollars are healing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If so, remember to keep your vibration high and give yourself healing energy and universal love to raise your vibration. There is light beside you and you are never alone. The light and the love and light of the heart of the universe is always available to heal you. And I think that's so beautiful because mm -hmm. I feel like you're putting your light in these mandalas, mm -hmm. these human dollars. And they can be put out in the universe. Mm -hmm. and so you're creating this beautiful trail of energy that just goes all over. Yep. You know. Yep. So I am so glad that you were my first guest, Michael. I Me think too. that you are so interesting. Thank you. And I think that you have so much creativity and inspiration. And so anybody out there who's just maybe embarking on trying to find their creativity, what advice would you give them? We said it earlier. Just, just be you. Just. I want to say believe. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know, the the struggle that I see um, is people believing in themselves. Uh huh. Um, so many people come to me and ask me for help, and they're so talented, and they have they have everything. I see. What do you need me? You have everything. Yeah. But they don't they, see it they don't have that belief. So yeah. believe in yourself. Be yourself. Um, and then I think one day for me. And it's not all the time, but one day for me that believing clicked. Yeah. And it became a knowing. Right. And that's what happens. A lot of times I'll, I'll say, oh, yeah, I believe that. And I'm like, wait a second. No, I know that. Yeah. Um, yeah. 
and that's it. It's that's, like an eight it's, within it's, you. It's a secret. You that's know, great just, advice. Yeah, I yeah. so often times in in the last several years, people have come to me for readings or or charts, and I see their talent right in the chart, and I can see that they're on the or the perfectly correct path, and they're supposed to be where they are, mm -hmm. and they're questioning and questioning their ability. Mm -hmm. And I think it gets back to we're so conditioned. You know, Sally and I were talking about this the other day when. Um, you know, something sometimes happens in our life that maybe isn't great, and we don't want to even complain about it because it's like, well, you know, I'll give you something to complain about, kind mm -hmm, of was the way mm -hmm. we were brought up. Sure. So when sometimes when we feel like we're creative or something really is great, we don't even want to give ourselves that feeling because it's like, well, who am I? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, we're conditioned to think that way. Mm -hmm. And there's been so many people over the years that have come in for readings, and, 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 and it's in their charts, and I'm so always happy to give them that that chart and that significator because I think for a lot of people that was the point like you were just describing where mm -hmm. it's no longer oh maybe yeah kind of I sort of believe but mm -hmm. it's like wow this is really who I am yeah and that's really an important place to be sure I think Absolutely. when that happens everything just kind of clicks from there right you know right. and the other thing that happens with that transition is you're not so distracted mm -hmm. like you're just in the work like I know with my writing that happens to me and when I was so distracted with, um, is this what I'm really supposed to be doing? Is mm -hmm. this good? Is this crap? Are people going to like this? Mm -hmm. you, you, someone had said to me, just write for yourself. Mm -hmm. Because then you're not thinking all those thoughts and distracting from the writing. Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So we have Pauline McClement from Scotland again. Hey. Hi, Pauline. You're becoming a regular viewer. I'm glad you found us. Howdy. I hope things are good in Scotland. So uh, Michael, uh, John Mineta says, enjoyed Michael's energy. You could feel that everything about him is good energy in all that he does. See what comes through. Thank you. Thank you. I got to tell you, there's a you. lot of energy in the studio today. <laughs> Can um, I, I want to say one thing also about the amulets because I, I realized this was something I had on my mind. Um, and, and a lot of the projects that I do, uh, the Women of Armageddon you mentioned earlier yeah. was, a, was a calendar project that I yeah. did back in 2012. I did that for six years. But the thing about these amulets is... They are basically a testament to thoughts manifesting. Right. That's so, a really great so thing to say. So when I hold this in yeah. my hand, I, I, I look at it and I say, this was a thought I had. Right. I used creative energy to create it, which I believe creation is source. Yeah. It's ignited in that <laughs> it's moment. It's source. Yeah. And, and here it is in my hand. Right. So it's manifested from thought to existing <laughs> it's, that's like the most amazing thing and yeah. that's how i felt the day i got the first box of cards yes i held them in my hand i couldn't believe like i manifested something yeah. into materialization so this is I'm that's gonna treasure exactly this exactly the thought yeah you, you manifest you it. into materialization you yep. Yep. that is a, that is just an unbelievable feeling yeah and you must get that every time you make one of these yeah. beautiful yeah. things Absolutely. That is really cool. Really, mm. really cool. Yeah. Well, I hope all of you out there will go on his websites, Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. I love to play with words, so my last Michael name is Zinn. Is Zinn. <laughs> I take photos and I change them into energy. Yep. So photosynthesis is taking light and changing it into energy, and photosynthesis Very is... Very cool. If you don't mind, Michael, photos. spell it. P-H-O-T-O-Z-I-N-N-T-H-E-S-I-S. Dot com. Dot com. Yes. Thank you. I'll just put it up there. Oh, perfect. And you can also find Michael on Facebook. I'm Michael Zinn. Mm -hmm. He does all kinds of photography. So if you want any kind of beautiful photos done, you want a human dollar, you need an event for yeah. photographed, you can go to Michael. He will make you look absolutely fantabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will bring out the fantabulous that's already in you. There you go. He's going to light your fire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, of course, you can always find me on Facebook, uh, Zenkuda, and on Instagram, Zenkuda Official. If you'd like a private reading or healing, Zenkuda.com. I hope all of you there joining the Zenkuda community on Soul Support are having a really good time and getting inspired out there to live your best life. And uh, you can also find me on YouTube on Zenkuda. All of these shows are posted on YouTube. So if you miss anything and you want to share it with a friend, that's the way to do it. Good stuff. So, Michael, I want to thank you for coming on tonight. I'm going to have you, you on again thank to talk you, about you. your other projects. Cool. Maybe um, Jesse, is it? Um, yeah. Yeah, maybe he'll come yep. on with you. Yeah. Oh. And uh, where, I do think you, where do you feel that guy's energy? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I, I wanted you so much on this show. Off I have the this, like, I, I Somebody said to me the other night, you need to turn down the lights and have candles and things going. And oh. so I was like, I have to decorate the studio. But then, you know, we have shows that come on after me, so I'm kind of mm. limited. But um, believe me, we're just getting started for 2020, so the vision is on. Yes. So 
So thank you so much, Michael. And I think that's our show for tonight. Awesome. And um, I think who's coming up next tonight, Sally? Um, we have uh, Limo Talk. Oh, Limo coming Talk. Coming in later on um, this evening. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. pretty funny. So he is, yeah. Stay tuned. Watch all the shows. Rocking. See you guys next week. Oh, next week, can I, is this, we still on? Yes, that ne- was so close. <laughs> <laughs> I got you back. Wow. Um, next week I have on Mark Bonder from Five Rhythms Dance is, is going to talk to us about how you can go to dance church. <laughs> Tonight.